It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. Brought to you by ProMed Ambulance Services, care you can count on, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Renowned as a fierce tackler and for the relentless effort with which he played, Dick Butkus is widely regarded as one of the greatest and most intimidating linebackers in pro football history. His fierce style of playing would garner him such nicknames as the Animal, the Maestro of Mayhem, and the Robot of Destruction. Richard Marvin Butkus was born in Chicago on December 9, 1942, the youngest of eight children and the first to be born in a hospital. He was a very large baby, weighing 13 pounds and 6 ounces at birth. His father John, a Lithuanian immigrant to Ellis Island who spoke broken English, was an electrician and worked for the Pullman Standard Rail- Railroad Car Manufacturing Company. His mother Emma worked 50 hours a week at a laundry. Butkus grew up in the Roseland neighborhood on Chicago's south side. He was a fan of the NFL's Chicago Cardinals and attended their games at Comiskey Park. His older brother Ron played football for three colleges and tried out for the Cardinals before quitting due to a bad knee. For four years, starting at age 15, Dick worked with his four brothers as a mover. Buckus played his entire football career in his home state of Illinois, which began at Chicago Vocational High School. He was a linebacker and a center for the Illinois Fighting Illini. He was a twice consensus All-American, and he led the Illini to a Rose Bowl victory in 1963 and was deemed the most valuable player in the Big Ten Conference. Buckus was named College Football's Lineman of the Year in 1964. He was elected by the Bears as the third overall pick in the 1965 NFL Draft and soon established himself as a ball hawk with his penchant for forcing turnovers. During his NFL career, he intercepted 22 passes and recovered 27 fumbles, a record when he retired, and he was responsible for causing many more fumbles with his jarring tackles. His tackling ability earned him both admiration and trepidation from opposing players. Butkus' retirement in 1973 came with four years remaining on a five-year contract with the Bears, which was to pay him $115,000 per year through 1977. It came with a no-cut, no-trade clause and was payable even if surgery was needed. The contract also promised necessary medical and hospital care, which, according to Butkus, the Bears neglected to provide him, causing irreparable damage to his knee. The Chicago Bears then told him he would not be paid if he could not play. Butkus filed suit against the Bears' team doctor in May 1974. This was eventually settled out of court when the Bears agreed to pay Butkus the full value of his contract. The episode caused a rift between Butkus and Bears owner George Hallis, and the two did not speak to each other for the next five years. Like many other former NFL players, Dick Butkus had a successful post-football career, becoming a celebrity endorser, broadcaster, and actor. His marriage to wife Helen produced three children. Dick Butkus died in his sleep on October 5th, 2023 at the age of 80. The cause of death was a stroke with atrial fibrillation, atherosclerosis, and hypercholesterolemia listed as underlying causes. His death came hours before the Bears were scheduled to play a Thursday night football game against the Washington Commanders. The Commanders hosted a moment of silence prior to the game. His list of honors include inductions into the Pro Football, College Football, and Chicagoland Sports Halls of Fame at the Downtown Athletic Club of Orlando's Buckus Award, named after him. As an homage, actor Sylvester Stallone named his pet bull Mastiff Buckus after the dog ate a security blanket. He decided to name him after, in his words, possibly the fiercest football player in history. The dog later starred alongside Stallone in the Rocky film series. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me for Trivia Tracks weekdays at 645 on Everybody's Country, Y95.